é com viva emoção e sentimento de profunda alegria que acolhemos neste município de Matola, Sua Excelência o Presidente Geral Consuma, por ocasião da inauguração deste monumento e do Centro de Interpretação e Guilherme em homenagem aos mártires do ataque do Apartheid. It is with vivid emotion and sense of profound joy that we host in this Matola municipality His Excellency President Jacob Zuma, his distinguished person, members of his delegation, on the occasion of the inauguration of the monument and the interpreting center of Matola. Isto symboliza a irmandade e solidariedade que sempre caracterizaram a relação entre os povos moçambicanos e sul-africanos. This symbolizes the brotherhood and solidarity that has always characterized the relationship between the Mozambican and South African peoples. A visita de Vossa Excelência ao nosso país, e em especial a cidade de Matola, vem dar sequência a um desejo antigo dos nossos governos e aos entendimentos alcançados da sua recente visita ao Moçambique em maio de 40 anos de eternizar a luta heroica dos nossos povos. Your visit to our country, and in particular to Matola City, follows an old desire by our governments and understandings reached in your recent visit to Mozambique in May this year that we should eternalize the heroic struggle of our peoples. Queremos, pois, caro Presidente, desejar boas-vindas e um feliz regresso à casa por quanto esta cidade transporta para parte significativa do histórico e nostálgico legado de engajamento dos nossos dois povos na luta contra o colonialismo e o racismo. Therefore, we wish, dear President, to have and welcome you back home, as this city carries a significant part of the historical and nostalgic legacy of the engagement of our two peoples to the struggle against colonialism and racism. Caros convidados, meus senhores e meus senhores, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, foi neste lugar que no fatídico dia 30 a 31 de janeiro de 1981, o regime de apartheid mais uma vez escolheu mostrar a sua verdadeira face cruel e desumana, contrariando todas as regras elementares de convívio e o conceito das nações. It was in this place where, on the fatidic 30th January 1981, the apartheid regime once again chose to show its gruesome and inhuman face by violating all basic rules of statehood in concept of nations. We pay homage to the fallen martyrs of the Matola raid of 1981, as well as all the fallen men and women that fought courageously in the liberation struggle that defeated the apartheid system. The Matola raid of 1981 constituted part of the apartheid destabilization campaign against the countries and peoples of Southern Africa who supported the South African liberation struggle led by the African National Congress. This attack demonstrated the callous and brutal nature of the racist apartheid regime and confirmed the correctness of the United Nations resolution to declare apartheid a crime against humanity. Similar rates as well as assassinations were conducted in Zimbabwe, Angola, Swaziland, Zambia, Botswana, Lesotho, and France, to mention but a few. The apartheid regime did not destroy the spirit of our people. Instead, the brutal murder of our people firmed up the resolve of all who remained behind to pick up their spear and fight for the ideals that they believed in 
and were and were prepared to die for. In honor and memory of those fallen heroes and heroines and their affected families, the South African and Mozambican governments initiated this project on the 27th and 28th February 2002. Today, we are all gathered to witness the unveiling of the Matola Raid Monument and the Interpretive Center dedicated to the memory of the struggles of liberation in our respective countries. This monument is a symbol of victory and sacrifice. The opening of this monument stands as a witness of freedom and it also stands as a, tes a testament to the resilience of our people in our both countries. This monument is indeed symbolic of the triumph of the human spirit. It reminds us of innate capacity and inner strength of endure the most difficult of times. We remember the maneuvers of the enemy who sought to permanently crush our resistance on that fateful day in January 1981. Contrary to the intentions of the apartheid regime, the blood of our freedom fighters that was shed here in Matola strengthened the alliance between the ANC and Frelimo and also nourished the tree that bore the fruits of freedom for the South African people. Fate was to have it that this alliance or not of union between our movements and countries would be sealed by the blood of the most outstanding son of the Mozambican people, former President Samora Mashal. We will always be grateful in our remembrance of the unwavering assistance we received from the people of Mozambique in general and Frelimo in particular when we were fighting for our liberation. Frelimo always understood that the liberation of the Mozambican people was inextricably linked to that of the South African people. Indeed, we have a shared history and a common destiny. I'm pleased that this place of commemoration will be able to teach and inform of this shared history to future generations. It is rich with cognitive information whilst displaying empathy with the victims. The information center will make it possible for the coming generations to gain knowledge of who we are and where we come from. My sincere hope is that as we unveil this splendid symbol of bravery today, the future generations of Mozambique and South Africa and the entire region should derive hope and inspiration by understanding what, is, what it means and what it meant to be truly free and acquire the sense of duty to protect this freedom. This monument remains of great importance as a uniting project between our two countries. It stands boldly as one of the symbols that epitomize the strong bonds of friendship between our two countries, which are already demonstrated in many diverse ways.